Essentially, bubble tea. I've never seen it done with almond milk until today. It's very creamy. Yeah. It's just a little almond. Um, yeah, I mean, it's almond milk. I mean, it tastes like dirt in the best way possible, okay? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know? I like it. Like it has like a tea taste. Like a whatever. Fun times. We're just left alone. Yeah, like literally never have experienced this in my life. I've never been left alone in a little, in a food anything. We're alone. Yeah, because you don't do that. Yeah, no one just leaves your 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 store. Okay, you know? okay. guys, this is my biggest complaint. Um, every time I get this drink, like this stuff, like I can't drink it. Like it doesn't. I can't suck it out of the. Oh, stock. what the heck? It's so That's annoying, wow. and like I, I literally can't handle it. Technology, come on, where are you at? Mm -hmm. Anyways, just like what? Like y'all, hello. Like I'm. Yeah. Dude, what? Like we're a alone. B, there ain't no workers nowhere. <laughs> Okay, okay. Haven't vlogged in a little bit, but I got a haircut yesterday. It's so much shorter. It's kind of wild. I mean, I have had it this short before. It's nothing new to me. I'm just debating on whether or not I want to go shorter. This is pretty just like your average middle length. Y'all don't know how long my hair was before. I really should have like got some footage of how long it was. It was pretty ridiculous. It's probably around like this length. Yeah, something like that. If I tie it up, I'll grab some footage of my ponytail before. And here's my ponytail now. Um, yeah, that's it. it. My hair just got so dang heavy. Um, I wanted a haircut so badly. Anyways, today I ran some errands. I honestly love running errands. And like going to specific stores to get specific things and then like within a specific <laughs> Within an amount of time. I love that So I left the house around 1 and I was like I'm getting back home by like 2 15 got home 209 loved it. So first I Got my conditioner. I was just running out of conditioner AG hair care. Um, it's the best hair care So I use the sleek conditioner with the smooth shampoo if you were wondering love this stuff. I uh, This is news as well um, I'm getting a car What the heck? I'm gonna talk about that later on because I'm gonna get too excited Anyways, I wanted to find like an air freshener for my car because I just didn't want to get like an, like a regular air freshener full of chemicals and just like bad things. I hopped into Lush, no customer service, no one said hello, no one said can I help you, so I left. Um, not a big deal. I plan to go to Lush and a place called Sage. It's like a wellness store, lots of essential oils, diffusers, stuff like that. Um, and I asked if they had anything like like a air spray air freshener type of thing. They had three One was for the bathroom one was for the kitchen and one was for like your room The bathroom one was a little bit too citrusy the room one was a little bit too warm I ended up getting the sage kitchen cleanse uh, Citrus room and surface spray everyone's like I love the smell of new car. I don't get it I really do not understand it at all. After that, I popped into the drugstore and got ointment for my eyes. Love that for me. Today is Sunday, and on Thursday, my dad and I went shopping, I guess. We went into the dealership. I was not very uh, satisfied with the customer service, and I know that's like, uh, like, calm down, Christine, da 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 but like, it matters, in my opinion. Um, my dad didn't have any problem with it whatsoever, but we visited a different location of the same brand of car um, And their customer service was truly impeccable just impeccable yesterday. We went to the dealership to Sign all the papers insurance car payment stuff like that I'm also gonna be getting Spotify because um, since I have a car now I think that's the most efficient way to listen to music I just have never gotten Spotify because I don't have a car. I didn't have a car um, And so there'd be YouTube and so it's like I don't really need to get another when thing night, you Wake me up when the sun goes down Feelings right you Wake me up when the sun goes down Sleepless nights you Wake me up when the sun goes down 
walking home from work. Crazy stuff. Day. I slept in today. Yo, my life has been very go, go, go. Even on the days where I'm off, I feel like I gotta wake up early for something. But today, I didn't have anything and I slept in till like 11. I don't even remember the last time I did that. I can't believe I'm picking up my car tomorrow. I quickly wanted to sit down because like, this aspect of my life has been very interesting. So, context. I have lived in the city my whole life. My family has never had a car. Obviously when I was younger my parents would talk about it because we were so young but once they once we started like growing up we all kind of realized that it wasn't necessary for us to get a car um, and public transportation where I live is honestly fantastic um, of course there have been so many like frustrating times where like a bus is late, bus is not coming, bus takes forever whatever but when I reflect on it, we really didn't need a car. I'm alive, I'm here. And so when I was able to get my driver's license, that's when car talk began. We were supposed to pick up the car on Tuesday, today's Thursday. What happened was the person, everything was, is done. Insurance is done, car payment's done. They needed to do like a protection thing on the car, like the physical protection of the car. Um, and so the guy that does these protective packages got injured and so he wasn't gonna be in until Thursday, which is today. So tomorrow morning, that's when we're gonna go and pick up the car. I am just so excited for this thing and I just can't believe that so much time has gone by in, in general, like literally like, I don't know. It's gonna be very special and I'm very excited. I am, of course, a little a little nervous because it is going to be my first time driving the car. It's going to be my first time driving on like is it a highway? I don't know if that's the high if that's a highway because it's a bridge. So Chris Clemens just uploaded a video and I just really wanted to share because I I don't necessarily feel the same way, but oh, here here here. Going to be picking up my Tesla. I just wanna, before I get into anything, I just wanna say that I'm not making this video to brag or to flex. <laughs> making this video for me? Same. Um, I feel the exact same way. I'm not out here buying a Tesla. Let's get that straight. I get, um, I even got a little emotional. Just, just. My God, my fresh ass car, it is stunning and I've never bought a fucking brand new car. <laughs> Like, I, I decided to watch this video before I edited my video, not for procrastination reasons, but a little bit of But I knew that it would not, like, it would inspire me, you know? Like, it would just, I don't know, seeing how excited Chris is right now, I just don't even know. I've seen my car before, because once again, I haven't, I didn't get a Tesla. I've seen it, I haven't sat in it yet. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, but, uh, first time and uh, I literally almost lost y'all because while I was filming it like fell in between like the cup holder things I know strange but I got kind of scared it's weird it's so strange but I'm so thankful right now yeah it's so wild it's so wild I can't believe it it's so beautiful and <laughs> just oh my gosh oh my gosh Where is that? this is my car y'all this is my car I'm gonna go back home because I'm hungry. Okay, great. Hey y'all. So I just um drove by myself for the first time and it was honestly freaking terrifying. I like really almost made a mess up just a little bit. But I mean like I'm here and I'm safe and I listen to worship music, God music, and 
that's honestly the only reason why I'm here. So, <sighs> so I got back home um, safely, thank God. I just like can't believe it sometimes that like this car is in my life. I'm very thankful right now. I'm gonna head back up. It was a good night. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Hi. Ah, y'all can't see me. Oh, there I am. Okay. I'm just gonna stop and be safe for a couple seconds of my life. <laughs> Kidding. But, woohoo.